Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Oh, it is time for the June pile of possibilities. And let me just get it out of the way. May was not a successful pile of possibilities month. Just flat out wasn't. My brain rebelled at being quote unquote forced to read Dave books and just balked. And Timmy went off script. <laughs> read a lot of books in, in May, but um, few, far fewer than I anticipated of Dave's. And that's fine. I'm giving myself grace to lose to him and read through the end of the year. And I'm okay with that. I really am because I I need to just be able to pick up a book because I'm interested in it and not because I need to beat my husband. As nice it would be to beat my husband, he chose a lot of very chunky books and, well, there's only so many of those I can read at a time and, yeah. So, I'm giving myself through the end of the year. And he knows and he's fine with it. It's not a big deal. He's not going to hide books from me. So, You saw The Leaning Tower. These are just books I'm interested in. I don't know what I'm actually going to read in June with a couple of exceptions. And when I know I'm going to read them for sure in June, I will tell you. So let's go through the exceptions. Or The Giant Pile of Possibilities. Summer on Honeysuckle Ridge by Debbie Mason. I tried to read this last year. wasn't in the mood for it. I really think I'm in the mood for it. It is a contemporary romance. It is set in summer. I love the cover. I think my brain is going to enjoy this this time around. So we shall see. Next up is a Dave book that is Dreaming the Eagle. It is the first book in the Boudicca series by Amanda Scott. I have started this. I'm enjoying this. I just wasn't in the mood as I planned to read it in May. So I will pick it up again in June, work my way through it. I mean, this is a big honking book. It is over 700 pages. So, yes. Next up is Because I Could Not Stop for Death by Amanda Flower. This is the first one. There's a squirrel out front. Talking of dogs this morning. So this is the first book in the Emily Dickinson mystery series. I've been wanting to read this all year. So we're going to read it in June. Next up is a definite will read. That is, I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetis. This is the June book club choice. I will link the announcement video down below. All of the details for the book club are in the description box down below, including the link to Discord. And the dogs need to go outside. Next up is a Dave book. That is Neuromancer by William Gibson. This is the first book in the trilogy. I really want to read this. It's on his list. I really want to enjoy this. It's just over 300 pages. I'm in the mood for science fiction. So. Tammy will be picking this up. Pretty sure I'm going to read this this month. Can't positively promise that, but pretty sure I'm going to pick this up. Next up is definitely one I'm in the mood for. That is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I have heard nothing but really good things about this. It's twisty and it's turny and I really want to dive in. My brain is in the mood for books with meat on the bones. And I think this is going to be a mystery with meat on the bones. So, yes. Next up is a book that I won on Goodreads, and it too is relatively short. It's under 350 pages. It's another mystery. It's the first in a series. 
That is B The Busybody by Kemper Donovan. It sounds really good. It sounds interesting. And yeah. I need books that A, aren't, you know, too light and fluffy, hold my interest. So we will see. Next up is another Good Breeds win. It uh, re releases on the 4th of June. That is Match Me If You Can by Swatty Hedge. Never anything by her. This is a romance set in, I want to say Mumbai. Let's see. I was right, Mumbai. So, why not? It's, it's June. Take this outside and read it. It's not overly long. It's under 300 pages. So, again, another fast, quick, let's see if I like it, read. Next up is another is a book I know I'm going to be reading for sure. Um, I'm budding reading this with Amanda. That is Poldark by uh, Winston Graham. This is Ross Poldark. It's the first book in the series. There are 12 books in the series in total. I have not watched the television series. I have wanted to read this for a very long time. I am looking forward to reading this with Amanda. We always have great discussions and back and forth with each other. And I know we're going to enjoy this one together. I can feel it in my bones. Next up is yet another Goodreads win that just arrived in the mail last week. And that is Not How I Pictured It by Robin Leffler. I have never heard of this author, but I will read you the back. 20 years after Ocean Views went off the air, the beloved TV show about teenage romance and angst is back. No one is more surprised than its former star, Agnes Ness Larkin, that she's agreed to step back into the role of Aubrey Grant. After her father slash manager took off with her earnings, Ness ran away from the spotlight and shame. But maybe it's time to share to stare her past and her castmates in their discreetly Botox faces. That enthusiasm lasts until the first table read, which, in co-star Coco's words, is like a high school reunion without the dim lighting or booze. Ness assumed her old fling, Hayes Beaumont, would be too busy do doing big Hollywood things to take part. But there he is, seated beside her, exuding pheromones and success. En route to the deluxe Bahamas resort where they're to start filming, the cast gets stranded by a storm. Stuck on a tiny island with a paltry cache of food and quite possibly the most useless survival group in history, Ness tries to reconcile her youthful dreams with where she's ended up, figuratively and literally. The producers want a drama on and off screen, and they're going to get it. But where will Ness be when it's all over? Yeah, I... It sounds interesting. It just, it's, it's got me intrigued. So, it is a possibility for June. Next up in a possibility for June is a sub for a Dave book. This will be a fast read once I pick it up. It was on the May list, so I'm putting it on the June list. Carryover, much like Boudicca book was. That is The Magic Engineer by Ellie Modesty Jr., this is the third book in the uh, Saga of Chaos, or Saga of Recluse, sorry. These are easy, quick, fast reads for me, even though they're, you know, it's an over 500 page book. I love this series. I really, really enjoy my time with this series, and you can read them independently. So, there's that to look forward to. Next up is another Goodreads win, and this one goes on sale in July. Maybe I should save it for July. We'll see. That is One Big Happy Family by Jamie Day. I share this in my first quarter book haul. I will link that down below. Sounds like it, you know, sounds like it's going to be a great beach read. You know, Adirondack chairs, colored ones at that on the cover. Always draws me in. 
So I'll read you the first paragraph. Could this reunion be the death of them? The Bishop sisters are a rare breed, each with a sordid past and guarded secrets. When the three reunite at the precipice, their late father's iconic coastal main hotel, they come to claim what is rightfully theirs. But their inheritance exacts, exacts a lethal toll. Yeah. Just, Maine is one of my favorite places on earth. Sign me up. Just sign me up. Oop. Pulling from the wrong pile. Next up is a uh, book club choice that didn't win in May. Amanda recently bought it and uh, blamed me for the purchase. So she's waiting for me to read it. So I'm definitely going to read it so I can tell Amanda if it's a yay, good or not. That is Dear George, Dear Mary by Mary Calvi. I love this cover. I know she has a book um, written in a similar style about Theodore Roosevelt. So if I love this one, I'm going to pick that one up. And then I can tell Amanda if she should read it or not. I am so intrigued by this book, so we shall see. And the last physical choice for the month, I am going to start my, I'm going to say reread, but because it is technically a reread, I have not ever physically read it. And I need to reread them to reacquaint myself before I read the Dave book, which is Rhythm of War. And book five releases in December. I have pre-ordered it. So I am going to start The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. It is the first book in the Stormlight Archive series. If any of you want to join in with me, Leave a comment down below and I will start a separate channel on the Discord so we can discuss The Way of Kings. If not, that's fine too. I'm going to reread it. I'm going to heavily annotate it because I know what I know now what I, and I didn't know when I read these electronically is that they are a, it is a very interconnected series. So. This will be very annotated by the time I'm done with it. Okay, so that is the physical read. I do have some Kindle choices for June. Um, my brain is in the mood. The Kindle hasn't been very cooperatively, so I'm going to give you the choices. I recently purchased um, The Royal Windsor Secret by Christine well Wells. This is historical fiction. Um, it sounds fascinating to me. It, it really does. So I, I want I want to read this one. Um, the Awakening of Miss Prim, and the author's name is on the cover of the book. This sounds fascinating. It's set in France. It's about a librarian. There's all kinds of, you know, book and author references in the synopsis. I will read you the synopsis here. Hang on, let me pull it up. Let's see how fast my Kindle can pull it up because it hasn't been quick of late. There we go. Prudencia Prim is a young woman of intelligence and achievement with a deep knowledge of literature and several letters after her name. But when she accepts the post of private librarian in the village of San Reno de Orna, she is unprepared for what she encounters there. Her employer, a book-loving intellectual, is dashing yet contrarian, always ready with a critique of her cherished Jane Austen and Louisa May Alcott. The neighbors, too, are capable of charm and eccentricity in equal measure. 
determined as they are to preserve their singular little community from the modern world outside. Prudencia hoped for friendship in San Marino, but she didn't suspect that she might find love, nor that the course of her new life would run quite so rocky or would offer challenge and heartaches as well as joy, discovery, and fireside debate. Set against a backdrop of steaming cups of tea, freshly baked cakes, and lovely company, the awakening of Miss Prim is a distinctive and delightfully entertaining tale of literature, philosophy, and the search for happiness. It sounds fantastic to me. I, I, I cannot wait to read it. Also, possible for June is um, Rocky Road by Becky Wade. I got this as an ARC on NetGalley. Um, it is now available on Kindle Unlimited. And I saw an author post on Instagram. They made a very valid point. If you get an ARC and you didn't read it before publishing and it's available on Kindle Unlimited, go ahead and read it on Kindle Unlimited because then the author gets paid for the read and then review the ARC. It's the same book. You're just helping the author out in two ways. So <clears throat> I apologize for Becky for not getting it read before release, but I'm going to read the Kindle Unlimited version and then I will submit my review. I also um, discovered that books two and three in the Powder Mage series by Brian McCullen are currently available on Kindle Unlimited. The second book is The Crimson Campaign. I have downloaded it to my Kindle. That is very likely for June. We will see how much reading I actually get done, but it is very likely for June. So we shall see. I, I have a lot. There's a lot of possibilities for June, but I am very much in the mood to read. I am looking forward to the book club choice immensely. I'm looking forward to Dear George, Dear Mary, Pull Dark. The Way of Kings. Uh, there's so much. My brain is just ready to read. And it wants meaty content and not overly fluffy. So, there's probably not going to be a lot of fluffy reads this month. What are you reading in June? Hopefully it's a more contained list than my pile. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you here next time at the Protagonist Pub.